We tested four popular window tints to find out which one's the best. From their ability to block damaging UV rays, the ability to block the summer heat, to their banana protection properties, and much, much more. Some of these tints even block cell signals, so you won't want to miss it. Starting off with our first test, heat. You see, a good tint should provide a good barrier against the relenting heat. They do this with the use of dyes, metallic or ceramic particles to block UV rays and infrared energy from the sun. To get precise, repeatable numbers, we've built our very own window tint testing rig and pitted four of the most popular store-bought options against each other in four different tests. So how does this work? The higher the number, the hotter the inside of your car will be. For our first contender, we have the Black Magic Premium with a price of $17.96. It claims to cool and protect. It features a metallic layer and it's made in Taiwan. After 30 seconds, the solar power meter tops out at 232 watts per meter square. That's a 64% reduction compared to no window, which had 647. A solid start for Black Magic. Our next contender is the Gila Heat Shield Elite with a price of $29.99. This one boasts a two layer construction plus ceramic. It claims 48% heat rejection and 99% UV protection. Made in the USA and carries a three year warranty. The meter tops out at 359, a 44% reduction compared to no window but way higher than the Black Magic Premium. Very disappointing for the Gila's top offering. Let's see how it compares to our next contender, the Black Magic Nano Ceramic, priced at $19.96, just $2 more than the premium version. It claims to block 85% of infrared light and 100% of UV protection, made in Taiwan. We will see if that $2 difference actually performs better. The meter tops off at just 69. Nice. That's an 89% reduction in heat energy, beating their claim of 85%. Let's give Gila one more chance with the final contender, the Gila Heat Shield Plus, with a price of $19.99. A non-ceramic option claiming 44% heat rejection and 99% UV blocking. This tint reads a whopping 373, which is a 42% heat reduction, falling short of its 44% claim and placing it dead last in our competition. In summary, ceramic particles are supposed to disrupt infrared waves better than dye. But in this case, the Gila Elite ceramic implementation seems non-existent. Meanwhile, the Black Magic Premium, despite being a standard film, punched way above its weight class in heat rejection. Did you know that bananas ripen faster when exposed to the sun's heat and UV? Well, they do. So like any engineer would, we are applying a thin strip of each tint to a banana and we will place it right here for the next three days. While that soaks, let's get on with our next test. To see which tint provides the best protection against cancer-causing UV rays, we have this UVA and UVB digital detector, and this UVA-UVB generating lamp. The lower the number, the more protection the tint provides. For our baseline, we measured once again without a window, and the readings were sky high with 11,630 of these units right here. First up, the Black Magic Premium with an impressive 79. That is a 99.32% reduction in UV, way more than their claim of 90%. Next up, we have the Gila Heat Shield Elite with a 93. That is a 99.2% reduction in UV, beating their claim of more than 99%, but still underperforming compared to the Black Magic. Next up, we have the Black Magic Nano Ceramic going all the way down to 30. An impressive 99.75% reduction in UV, taking the lead from the premium, but falling short of its bold claim of 100%.
Lastly, we have the Gila Heat Shield Plus with an 89, a 99.23% reduction, impressively beating even the Gila Ceramic option. In summary, although all were above 99% UV rejection, the Gila Elite with Ceramic performed the worst in this test. To help visualize the amount of UV passing through the tint, we also placed a UV light source under the glass and a beaker of tonic water on top. Why tonic water? Well, because it glows bright blue under UV light. The less it glows, the better the tint. As you can see, the Black Magic Nano Ceramic is clearly the dimmest of all and the Gila Elite is the brightest, meaning it let the most UV through. Although heat and UV protection is extremely important when selecting a tint, visibility is a must. Typically, people go with the darkest tint they can get, but the darker it is, the less visibility you have, especially at night which is why every state enforces strict limits on how dark you can go. Here, we're testing how close are the manufacturers to the advertised 20% claim. The Blackmagic Premium came in at 19.3%, the Gila Plus at 20.4%, the Gila Elite at 21.6%, and the Blackmagic Nano Ceramic at 22.3%. All of them were close to their 20% spec, with the nano ceramic being off by as much as 2.3%. This is all just numbers, but we wanted to see how hazy each window tint was to the naked eye. Each of these tints have a different hue, with the nano ceramic and the Gila Heat Shield Plus having a bluish shade, and the Gila Ceramic and the Black Magic Premium with a greener tint. And this is where the Walmart shades really show their true colors. As you can see, the Black Magic Nano Ceramic on the left and the Premium on the right are pretty hazy compared to the Gila tints in the middle. The Gila Elite Ceramic looks high definition next to the Black Magic Ceramic with its extreme haziness. Huge blow for the Walmart brands. If you want to see more specific window tints tested, make sure to mention it in the comments down below. Nowadays, your phone is like an extension of you. And if you find yourself without service, is a huge deal. So we wanted to see if these window tints would impact cell service. You may ask, how would a window tint ever impact cell service? Well, if a company embeds metallic particles into the window tint, your car basically becomes a pseudo Faraday cage, not allowing signals to pass through it. Metallic particles are great for heat reduction, but not necessarily great for signal strength. I'm reading the signal strength of my internet connection. As you can see, it remains steady, and after overlaying the nano ceramic tint, the signal strength remains steady, and the 5G service was still there. Next up, we have the Gila Elite, and once again, the signal remains steady, and the tint had no impact to the internet service. Next up, the Gila Plus, boasting a metallic film. As you can see, seconds after overlaying the tint, 5G is no longer available, dropping to 4G. The signal strength also drops substantially. Once you remove the tint, signal strength quickly recovers and 5G connectivity is re-established. And lastly, we have the Blackmagic Premium Tint, also featuring a metallic layer, although this one seems more reflective. So let's see how it performs. And wow, as soon as you place the tint over the phone, the signal dropped below negative 120 dB, performing even worse than the Gila Plus. This tint is also causing 5G service to halt. Once the tint is removed, signal quickly recovers and 5G returns. In summary, if you're opting for a metallic tint, you'll have a better heat performance than a dyed tint but at the cost of cell service. So next time you're in the very important meeting with your metallic window tints, make sure to roll down that window. If you like testing videos like this, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us tremendously. Okay, three days have passed and our banana is looking tasty. Let's see how these tints did. And as expected, the nano ceramic performed the best out of the group and the Gila Plus 
came in last. For second and third place, it's very subjective, but we believe the Blackmagic Premium edged out the Gila Nano Ceramic ever so slightly. If you value visibility and looks over performance, then the Gila window tints are for you. Although the ceramic Gila was very underwhelming in terms of heat rejection and UV rejection, the Gila Plus might interfere with signals and that is a huge downside. So I recommend you opt for the ceramic. If you value performance over visibility, then the Blackmagic brand is the choice. But I would strongly reconsider, given the poor visibility of the nano ceramic and the signal interference from the premium. Do be warned that the Blackmagic Premium leaves a huge adhesive mess when removed, and the nano ceramic leaves some of the tint as well. So plan carefully if you need to remove and replace them later. In conclusion, we're very disappointed with the drawbacks that these premium tints have, and that's why on our upcoming video, we will be testing dyed window tints. As always, links are down below in the description. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.